This is the method of descending through the Williamson tube, which forms an open pathway to the seafloor in my observation and photographic chamber. Stepping down on the tube construction, my able assistant, Mrs. Williamson, arrives in our submarine studio, and we rest as the mysteries of the sea unfold before us. The great silence of the depths creates a profound impression. Here in a coral grotto, yellow-tailed goldfish idle their time away on parade. They grub for worms at night, so have little to do in the daytime except to watch out for a hungry barracuda, for then they go into a huddle in the shadows like the school of grunts. Every day is Friday down here. Here's how we make records of life in the sea, and we must keep alert. A visit from a man-eating shark among the gardens of the sea. A cruel killer, yet formed along graceful lines for speed to attack and run away. Now I have signaled for a native diver to come down and take up a specimen for us. He is going to get a sea fan. There he goes, a marvelous swimmer by the name of Cinderella. Cinderella wants to show us how tough and flexible that marine growth really is. As tough as a Panama hat, it has formed on a coral head. Cinderella's good for two minutes down below, but I notice he's getting short of breath and will hustle back up to the surface. And here we drift into the depths, where treasure hunters are at work. Dangerous calling out in the pressures of the sea. Sometimes the reward is great. And a vast hoard of sunken and natural wealth lies on the floor of the ocean, awaiting those who can reach it and take it from the grasp of the sea.